OpenAI has delayed ChatGPT's new voice mode. Robots can now be built with living human-like skin. The week gone by was buzzing with a lot of interesting tech developments and we bring you the most important ones in a tech wrap. ChatGPT maker OpenAI is delaying the release of its voice mode feature by a month to July because of technical issues. The company had originally planned to roll out the realistic voice conversation experience to a small group of ChatGPT Plus users in late June. The feature will initially be released to a small group of users to gather feedback. It will be made available to all Plus users later. The new audio capabilities will enable users to speak to ChatGPT and obtain real-time responses without delay. Users will also be able to interrupt ChatGPT while it is speaking. Both hallmarks of realistic conversations that AI voice assistants have found challenging. Some of the world's major music labels are suing music generation services Suno and Udio. They have accused the startups of violating the copyrights of top artists to train their generative AI engines without permission. Sony Music Entertainment, Warner Records, Capitol Records and others who have filed the copyright infringement suits in federal courts in Boston and New York are seeking damages of up to $150,000 per song or shares of the company's profits. Breaching ownership rights of people's artistic creations to train generative AI models has been a flashpoint as the technology races to become more capable and ultimately more profitable. In yet another development that might widen the tech gap between the US and China, the Biden administration is investigating China Mobile, China Telecom and China Unicom due to concerns that they could provide American data to Beijing. These companies still have a small presence in the United States. For example, they provide cloud services and route wholesale US internet traffic. That gives them access to Americans' data even after telecom regulators barred them from providing telephone and retail internet services in the United States. The investigation is the latest effort by Washington to prevent Beijing from exploiting Chinese firms' access to US data. It shows the administration is trying to shut down all remaining avenues for Chinese companies to obtain US data. In a scientific breakthrough, Japanese scientists have found a way to attach artificially created living skin to robot faces for more realistic smiles and facial expressions. According to a team of researchers at Tokyo University, this innovation comes from copying tissue structures in people. Look at this. Currently, the prototype looks more like gummy candies than human skin. Nevertheless, researchers say it paves the way for making realistic and moving humanoid robots with self-healing skin that will not easily rip or tear. The artificial skin is made in the lab using living cells. It's reported that the robot's skin is soft like real skin and can repair itself if cut. But the question remains, will this human-inspired skin of robots itch or sweat? According to its researchers, that's not possible yet, as the skin still lacks some of the functions and durability of real skin. Sweating and itching are complex physiological processes that involve nerves, blood vessels and glands in the skin, which aren't included in the current design of artificial skin.